Hey guys, Mujik here. Yesterday, I actually beat the Agayan trial, but like an idiot, I forgot that raise counts as magic. So I was using that and I basically lost that no magic requirement. So I'm redoing it today. Um, I've already kind of jumped into the fight, but I decided to record this version of the fight and just kind of, you know, delete all the footage that I had from yesterday because, you know, I don't want to have all the disclaimers and just make it all messy. So I'm going to jump right into the fight right now and I can show you the setup after I'm done. Um, I mean, T, this is water setup. Lunith has water as well um, to try to make use of that uh, water debuff on the on the boss. And uh, Riku has Prodigy's goggles, which help you know, regenerate two limit burst crystals per round. It's kind of like Jax TMR with a couple of defensive stats as well. And I have one Jax TMR on her. It is uh, kind of slow going as far as regenerating the limit burst crystals once the body's dead. But, you know, I got through it yesterday, so hopefully I can get through it today. I'll try to narrate um, <clears throat> not too extensively, and I'm probably going to do a lot of cuts because I don't want to um, show the same thing over and over and over, and it might take a while, so we'll see how it goes. Come on. So I'm bringing Noctis um, because he has comeback, he has cover, and Attack buff with Link, uh, which is going to be important sometimes when you can squeeze it in. So first turn, then I'm buff with Teleth. Not this will do uh, cover, I guess. Um, I didn't really have MP problems because Prism Heal did such a good job. But, you know, a little extra doesn't hurt. Let's get Eccentric, fill up that Limit Burst gauge. And then here. Okay, uh, it just crashed, so I'll be right back. All right, let's give this another try. Um, I was having crashing issues with Knox every time I try to open up my macro recorder thing, but hopefully it'll be stable now. Uh, and if you happen to know of a, like a fix for that, that'd be great. It kept telling me my graphics card was outdated or my driver or whatever. Um, but then it works fine other times, so I don't know what's going on with that. And I know the driver is updated. Anyway. Get our buffs up and then let's do a full round of attacks here. Use my handy dandy macro for perfect chaining. And basically all I did to create this macro was I um, you know, did the three clicks um, slowly and accurately and then I sped it up eight times. Saved that, or I saved it and then I sped it up to eight times. And then I actually recorded the macro running at eight times speed save that and then I sped that up to eight times so it's basically like 64 times sped up so it should you know perfect chain every time anyway um not gonna narrate too much but um just wanted to get that out of the way in case you guys are wondering how that happened um all right so Riku doesn't have a limit burst yet so we'll have to do the quick hit chain first and then she'll have it uh in all likelihood of course so let's do this um full heal And Hyper Mighty G. So obviously this Limit Burst is like the MVP of the fight. Um, definitely important to have up when he crosses the thresholds with like World Destroyer and all that stuff. So, um, you know, it could easily wipe out your party if you don't have it up. Although there are ways to mitigate it as well. So what should we do here? All right, so we have the defensive spirit from the uh, Hyper Mighty G, but we don't have any attack. So I'm going to have Noctis actually buff our attack here. Um, I think this is a good time for Prism Heal. Might as well squeeze that in. 
And Riku can actually do synthesis. Um, just in case she needs to like, you know, do some more damage mitigation for us. Now I could have done Tidus's limit burst to um, you know reduce his water resistance, help our damage output in the future, but uh, it's a little bit rare when Lunith is alive. So the chance to have all three chain, uh, I'd rather take that. But if he happens to be like dead and then revived so that he can't act on that turn, then I'll just do the limit burst instead. Yeah, so in this case, come back. Gonna have to do a full heal here. Go ahead and do this first. And then my Tidus, I believe, might have a higher level Blitz Ace, so I'll use that one. And then what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna just um, go ahead and entrust this uh, Tidus's Limit Burst to Riku so that she'll have it up. Obviously not going to be able to do enough damage this turn uh, to offset his healing, but it's okay, it's just one turn uh, sacrificed. And if Lunith happens to be standing, then I'll do a good amount of damage, especially with that water debuff. Okay, good turn. Uh, let's see here what I got. This might be another turn to do Prism Heal. Let's have Knock this actually do cover. And then this should do good damage. I've had Lunith do like 1.4 million in a single turn before because the way the chain works is it actually times really well with the quick hit chain so yeah let's see oh you can't see the number but it was like 670,000 the second one was about 600,000 so it wasn't the absolute best result but uh, that's probably also because Lunith is not uh, attack buffed right now Anyway, you guys get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut here, and I'll come back when, you know, I'm about to move on to the right arm. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm on kind of like the what I think is the trickiest part of the fight, which is basically the body's down, and you're not able to get as many limit burst crystals, but you still need to, like, you know, keep up your Riku limit burst. And that's hard because, you know, you, you only get, like, two crystals passively per round or whatever. Uh, I am able to do um, in trust with these two Tetises. I kind of have this saved up if I need to, but I'm trying to hold out as long as I can. So um, I think the only person that doesn't have the uh, auto revive is Lunith right now. But anyway, let's continue the fight. I'm going to do Prism Heal because uh, Tilt is nice and healthy, so she can afford to do this this round. Riku's going to help out with some Albed Potion. Uh, to try to keep this Tidus alive. Although, you know what, actually maybe the Hyper Null All is going to be the better option overall. Uh, this Tidus may die, but he does have the auto revive at least for one turn, which is fine, but I'd like to um, just mitigate for the whole party. And let's do a quick hit. He's already done one of those threshold healings for both arms, so I think there's one more where he kind of like heals himself a lot. Makes it tedious, but you know, at least it's not going to wipe out the party. Again, I don't have battle effects turned on because it makes it lag even more. 
So yeah, that's why you're seeing it just kind of like, looks like it's doing nothing right now. Alright, so now this is going to come back again for Lunith. I think this is another good opportunity to do Prism Heal because we're not that damaged and Tilith is actually full health. Uh, the next turn, Riku's actually going to finally get her Limit Burst up again, so um, looking forward to that. I think everyone else is kind of like... Um, uh, she doesn't have her auto revive, so that's a little worrisome, but I think we can hold out. Um, I guess I'll just do another Hyper Noel. Might as well refresh that. And then we'll do a quick hit again. I'm probably saving these uh, Limit Burst and Trust too much. So after she uses it this time, I'll go ahead and entrust it to her right away. Might as well. Once the right arm is down, the fight becomes a joke anyway. But yeah, let me just show you a few rounds of this to see what I kind of deal with um, in this phase of the fight. You can see it's definitely some RNG involved because if he had hit Riku again, it would have definitely caused some problems. I mean, I could have revived everybody with Tilith, but I would have to wait till the next turn for her to do her limit burst. So that's a little bit of a problem. But um, yeah, I guess we'll do that. We'll do a uh, AOE revive. We'll do limit burst for uh, Riku. Once these people are up, we don't want to do it too early. Otherwise they won't get it. So we'll do that. Now she might, she is likely to die, I guess, which kind of sucks. You know what, I'm just going to give up damage this round. I'm actually going to go for... Um, I'm going to throw her in Elixir because I don't want her to waste the auto revive. And then I'm going to entrust her with this Tidus. <clears throat> so at least I was able to show you that part of the fight where the strategy was a little bit different than usual. So that was just like a get back on my feet round. Um, everybody has auto revive, uh, except for Lunith after this turn. So I'm in good shape again. Okay, oh, don't want him to die. Okay, I got lucky there. I mean, again, they would have auto revived, but I'm trying to like not have that be wasted, you know, unless it's absolutely necessary. Okay, so right now we have defensive buffs, but we have no offensive buffs. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do Link with uh, Noctis here. We can actually get in some good attacks with the rest of the crew. The rest of the boys, I guess. Um, we don't need to use this yet, so we'll save it until, you know, at least one of the other characters pops their auto-revive. So for now, she's going to use Synthesis and then try to get the, um, uh, what is that? It's the mitigating one that um, raises your resistances and it also gives you damage mitigation overall. So I'm trying to get that back up. Yeah, like I said, this is the hardest part of the fight. Um, but hopefully we'll be stable enough to get through it. I think I'll do like one more round and then um, I'll cut away again until we get to just the left arm because it's just going to be all over again because um, he's going to heal himself a massive amount. All right, so Noctis had to pop his. That kind of sucks. We might actually just use Riku's Limit Burst because um, by the time we'll need it again, hopefully she'll have it passively up again. And I don't want to waste too many turns of her getting crystals when she's already maxed out. Yeah, so we'll do this. Um, don't really need like a full heal here, so I'll do Prism Heal. Again, we want to make sure our MP is always up. And then we'll do this quick hit. Mm. Yeah, we'll do a quick hit. I was contemplating doing uh, Get Pumped, 
but since we do have our defensive stats up at least, uh, it's not really quite worth it. Right, we'll do one more turn and then I'll cut away. Oh, there's that massive healing threshold, so basically just it's not a big deal. Just got to do it all over again. It just makes it so that you have to be able to sustain longer. But again, with Tillith and you know Riku and all that stuff, it's not such a huge issue unless you get some bad RNG. Um, that was kind of a bad round. He knocked out like um, Tillith and Lunith wasn't standing, so could have been better, but not a big deal either. So. Yeah, this turn we'll actually do full heal. Because we do have some damaged folks, and Riku is going to hyper null all to uh, help our mitigation a little bit. So, anyway, I'll be back um, when I get to the left arm. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, roughly at the same point that I left off, maybe. But as you can see, uh, well, if you're observant, uh, Tillith has more HP, and that's because I actually had to um, restart the battle. I got wiped out due to bad RNG. Um, yeah, without that Fravia um, ability that kind of helps her to survive that last hit or whatever, people can go down at any time. It's really precarious. I mean, you got to get kind of lucky with the RNG as far as who they target and everything like that, how much they dodge. Um, which, by the way, I should, probably should have put more dodge on my Noctis, but, um, yeah, anyway, I'm about to take down the right arm, then I'll be home free, but it's actually been really, um, kind of an uphill climb getting to this point. Um, so let's go ahead and resume here. I've had to use, like, all my Phoenix Downs, I've had to use Elixirs, I've, um, you know, use Tetis's uh, get pumped buff quite a lot because, you know, sometimes um, that's the best way to try to survive. Uh, Riku this turn. Can't really do anything, so I'm going to actually uh, do Synthesis so that she can do the uh, Hyper Null all the next turn for some extra mitigation. But it, it honestly doesn't seem to help that much. People can still die easily, so luck of the draw. Or Lunith has uh, rarely stood <laughs> for an attack. Um, yeah, it just seems like it's a lot harder than I... When I had Warrior of Light, I actually feel like the tanking did help. Um, especially for this phase of the, the fight. Um, but of course, not being able to use uh, Comeback or Full Raise uh, that Noctis has would uh, be a downside too, so... Um... I would like to use Prism Heal here, but because Noctis is so weak, I'm actually going to have to do a full heal. Hyper Null All. Oh, I just want this right arm to be dead, please. If Lunith could uh, stay standing, this fight would go a lot faster, but again, it's just hard when you don't have that last um, survival ability that Fravia has. I mean, I could tank it with Noctis with that 100% Provoke, essentially, but he's more important as far as, like, you know, you being able to use comeback and things like that. Lunith is just kind of, like, extra damage, it just prolongs the fight if he's not alive. Um, probably gonna have to use uh, Prism Heal here, even though the HP is not gonna be in a good situation. But I'm just starting to run low on MP a little bit here. And I'll try to supplement the healing with um, the Albed Potion. But Noctis is probably gonna die this turn. Hopefully I can get the right arm down, but I think it's gonna take like at least one more turn. Yeah, maybe one or two more turns.
If Noctis can survive, that'd be great. Nope. Tricky situation here. Okay, um... I think my best bet is actually, because the Rhydome is, is almost dead, I think my best bet is to do, um, fully revive all these three people. Um, get Tidus to buff up everybody, although uh, Tilith is, I'm hoping she'll survive with um, Riku's Limit Burst on, but we'll see. But that was a good demonstration of... Um, how this fight can go. I mean, if you just have one bad turn, you know, it could just completely derail you. It could be hard to recover for sure. Like my last failed attempt, like he took out, you know, Tilith, Riku, and knocked this all in one turn. There was no way for me to like throw around enough Phoenix Downs and, you know, get everybody back up and running. It's not like they ever take a turn off or anything. Wow, Tilith uh, actually, she actually survived. That's really good. Um, that was a little bit of luck, actually. So, okay, let's try to get this guy down. I still don't think I can get him down this turn, but as far as what Riku can do, she can probably. Yeah, just gonna have to <clears throat> set up the um, Hyper no Wall again. Although after this turn, it's not even gonna matter, because this arm only does that one big hit. It doesn't really do anything else. So mitigation isn't gonna matter anyway. So I probably should just like chuck the Chocolate or Elixir at one of the Tetises just to get the MP back up. Probably would have been a better use of that turn. But it's okay. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to make it this time. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to do Prism Heal because uh, everybody's kind of running low on MP here. And then we'll be able to uh, quick hit this guy down finally. Once I get my MP. There we go. And thank God, we're to the easy part of the fight. Alright, so I'm actually gonna yeah, use a chocolate on this guy. Might as well. Riku's actually not gonna be that useful anymore from this uh, point on, because her Limit Burst is gonna be like a party revive, but I know he's just gonna kill Lunith every turn. And so it's not really gonna be a big deal. But I'll just do this. Not this can uh, do link. Let's get our attack back up, I think. Yeah, there's no buffs there. So we'll get our attack up. This Tilith will, um, yeah, full revive, I guess. And then let's take this arm down. Thankfully, this arm does go down a lot faster than the right arm. Probably because if you take out the left arm first, you got to take it out like 10 times. So that'd be ridiculous if they made this arm strong too. All right, so I'll cut here again. I'll be right back as I approach the end of the fight so I can uh, show you my setup. Okay, um, I may be able to kill him in a couple more turns here. So I'm going to go ahead and record again. Um, if Lunith was alive, I could definitely kill him in this turn. But yeah, obviously he dies. So, don't really know what to do with these guys. You know, I could have thrown in a Tidal Wave to help Chain a little bit better with these attacks. That probably would have helped a little bit. Um, and then, you know, if you needed to evoke this last stage of the fight, uh, would be a good time to do Ramu. But I've already done that. So, I don't need to do it in this fight. Tilith, by the way, um, with the setup that I have, virtually never runs out of MP. I mean, yeah, you can envision if she had to do Prism Heal every single turn, maybe, but 
I mean, that's assuming that she would never get hit and never have to do full heal. So that's kind of unrealistic. I think this setup is actually like, it feels like infinite mana already. So it's good enough. Um, anyway, don't really need to do much else. I just need to kill this guy. So let's do that. And finally, this fight is over. Um, I just had a dreadful thought. <laughs> what if I accidentally use a spell and I didn't even realize it? I better not have used a spell. I am not doing this fight over again. Well, I say that, but that world destroyer ability is pretty strong, so I think it's definitely worth it. But um, I don't think I used a spell. I don't think I did. I mean, who would have used a spell? You know, Riku, Tilith, they're pretty much all special abilities. Uh, the only spells I would have would be like Esper's. Yep. So I finally got it. Let me just sh uh, show you guys my setup. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but... Oh, God, that fight was so tedious. Alright, so the, here's Tilith. <clears throat> uh, Saluna Ring, obviously a big reason why she has so much good MP regen. I think White Brim and Vestment of Mine both have that too. Uh, this is just to help her survive. Uh, renewal again, MP recovery. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what she has. Seemed to work pretty well. This is my Noctis. Honestly, I was a little bit lazy as far as like putting all the best uh, defensive gear on him. I could have done better, but uh, that's what he had. I'm gonna swap this out, of course, for his arena setup. Here's Riku. Override, of course, helps her with her um, limit burst uh, regen, basically. Prodigy's goggles is a uh, very very good relic for her or material i'm sorry accessory not only does it have pretty good de defensive stats 15 plus um, for both of them but high power is um essentially like jack's tmr which is two limit burst crystals passively every turn so i was getting two from that of course riku's pouch for like eccentric and so forth i was getting two from prodigy's goggles and two from ignorance so i was getting four per turn which is like every four turns i'd get a free limit burst uh, definitely very, very necessary for that um, second portion of the fight when you're fighting the right arm. If you don't have these kind of TMRs, then you're not going to have any of Riku's limit bursts the whole way, which is going to be almost impossible, I think. Unless maybe you have a bunch of Fravias or something. Um, yeah, this kind of stuff, like Mog Wisdom, this actually probably didn't help too much, um, except when I was fighting the main body. But, you know, the arms don't give crystals, so this isn't going to help. And then this didn't help, obviously, but I just like keeping it on her. Uh, Lunith is, this is my setup for him. He's still not like my best setup or anything, but I'm farming the next TMRs for him, like Dark Knight Soul and uh, another Bracer. So he'll be a little bit better soon. And of course my Tidus, this is the setup that I had for him. Um, I took off a Quick Assault to put another Machine Killer but uh, I think this quick assaults and um, the dodge in general actually did help a lot. There were a lot of turns where um, they would dodge like something that would have been fatal. So definitely worth having. Um, you could even argue that, um, well, I don't know. Machine Killer is so important and so good, but if you wanted to have a better chance of staying alive, another quick assault might even help with that. But anyway, that was my setup. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Good luck on the fight yourself. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got it out of the way. So good luck, guys. Uh, see you guys next time.